Hi, I'm back. It's Neva. Uh, surprise! I know you're not surprised. I do two or three videos a day and then I don't do any... Well, anyway, I explained all that in the video before this. This is an F.O. video. I was going to show you my whips, but I don't feel like pulling all my bags out and stuff. But I will tell you about something when I'm showing you the F.O.s. So, there will be clips um, of uh, video clips of my mother-in-law's blanket on her bed that I made her and a shrug I made I don't know how long ago that I I used the crochet crowds tutorial a modern granny shrug I think was the name of it I'll put the the video below and then um I will put the the video to the heart granny square how to do it from Ophelia talks down below and try to find Ashley from stitching eight easy's um, video where she made a scrap gun with the heart that's where I found out about it and got the idea so I will try to link all those fingers crossed I remember I better make a list not right now in a minute and now my dogs because I'm on this uh, they want to go outside um, so, those will be clips that are put in here. Go, no, Ziggy. Okay, so next I have made a few of these. The Loveys. Um, I'll find the video by Z from RJN3. Well, y'all know who Z is. If you don't, I'll put her link below when she makes these. I have made, I made two of these. I got the little stuffies at, um... Dollar Tree. I have made I made a few of them that I gave to my friend Elizabeth. Well, I sent to my friend Elizabeth's daughter for her little girls. I thought they could use some love. And then um, I gave one to my friend Lisa to raffle off for Elizabeth's fund. And then um, I gave my great niece one. And then I've made a few others. I just couldn't locate them. But um, it's just a, you take a hair tie and crochet around it and then do the granny square. And um, I think they're super cute. And then, you know, the whole stuffed animal. So once they outgrow the blanket, they got the little stuffed animal if they want it. But, you know, little babies carry around. Well, you know, you get the idea. I also have one made for um, Lisa's granddaughter. I guess I remember to find it and put it away until I see her again then these that I'm super proud of because I hate doing amigurumis but these are super easy the pattern that I used for these two okay so this one specifically is winding road crochet like every bit of it okay except for I kind of overstuffed him and I put the feet down here and they were supposed to go on his poncho but this is my Cinco de Mayo gnome and I think he came out really flipping cute and um, I was real proud of him. He's real gordo, y'all. So, gordo means fat. Uh, I made him kind of round. And uh, so, yeah, there he is. I thought he came out really, really cute. Um, Lisa wants one. So I got to get to making her one of these. Um, but I think he's adorable. And I used the, I followed the pattern to a T on this one, except for that I forgot to put the feet on the poncho. But, um, and she has the, uh, I'll send you the link to the pattern. She uh, Winding Road Crochet also has a YouTube channel. But um, I will send you the link to the patterns. Because there's a whole bunch of different ones. Then I made up my own. Going off like one of her just basic patterns. This is called. this. That one was for me. And I'm working on a Mother's Day one. That's what I was talking about. That's one of my whips is I have a Mother's Day one that I'm combining two patterns because I'm trying something out. But um, here is my April showers because, you know, April showers, bring May flowers or have you say that. Well, so I wish I had a different umbrella, but I put little raindrops and he's gray like a rain cloud. And I just, I, that was my thing now. I love rain. April showers. You get it. So there he is. I used the basic pattern for the beard and the body and then just added my own little touch to it. 
So there's not a specific pattern for this one, but the basic pattern and then you add your own little. So um, he was my first one. He's a little lumpy and I don't know if I filled him enough, but um, maybe if I squish him a little. But anyway, I love gnomes. And Ashley from Stitching Ain't Easy, she, um, she yeah, y'all got to go check out. If you haven't watched her, you've got to, she's made lots of gnomes and now she's making gnome houses and i plan on making a gnome house i just haven't gotten around to it in fact i haven't really had crojo lately just haven't but um so there there's my april showers gnome isn't he cute i love his long beard i have a few ideas for gnomes but my next one that will be done is the um mother's day gnome and it'll it's late for mother's day but y'all know that my mom passed away and so um it's i'm gonna try to make it look a little bit like her or you know just you get the idea i'm gonna make it in honor of her i guess i should say so there's that and that is my finished objects i believe that's everything um i have a lot of stuff to finish up i have too many whips to pull out so there you go so maybe i'll just talk about them when I'm working on them. Um, but there's my FOs guys. Like I said, I'll put the clips in here and I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know what y'all are working on and what you finished. And if you've made any gnomes or if you make, if you plan on making some, let me know. There's, they're easy. Like I just don't do amigurumi too much, especially if there's a lot to sew on. I do have some stuff coming up I want to make but yeah so I will see y'all in the next video Mwah. I have an FO I made a shrug it's the modern granny shrug I didn't close the arms up as much as they're supposed to be but I used happy the mandala happy yarn and this is the first wearable I ever made that wasn't a scarf or a shawl or a hat, and I'm proud. <laughs>